Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we're going to use one of these and some of these to make this, the Yellow Hammer Slammer. But first, this. All right, so let's get into it. This request came to me from Thumbs Vlogs, and he said, my wife asked if you could make a Yellow Hammer Slammer Roll Tide Roll. So I said, let's see what I can do. Now, if you're an Alabama fan, you probably already know what a yellow hammer is. But for the rest of us, here's a bit of knowledge to annoy and piss your friends off with. And I'm not talking about Operation Yellow Hammer, which of course is the code name used by the UK Treasury for cross-government civil contingency planning in regards to Brexit. Now, first of all, the Alabama Crimson Tide is the University of Alabama football team. And I mean American football team, not this. Now essentially the yellow hammer is named after Alabama state bird and legend has it that the Alabama slammer originated as a beverage of choice among fans in the 1970s. Now at this point in the Crimson Tide's career, head coach Beer Bryant was leading the Crimson Tide to multiple national titles. And along comes this bar called Gillette, which opened in 1976, and over time they created their signature drink, the yellow hammer slammer. So you know what, let's get into it. Now I'm going to use one of my big glasses here that I would normally use as a Boston glass. And I'm cutting this recipe in half because I really just don't have a glass big enough for this. So the first thing we need is some ice. And we're gonna add a good handful of ice to this glass. All right, and we need some vodka. We're gonna use one ounce of vodka and I've got a Finlandia vodka here. And uh, one ounce works out to 30 milliliters. The next thing, of course, I need is a little bit of light rum. And I'm gonna use plantation rum here. This is a uh, Barbados rum. And any light rum you do or you do, you need, or vodka or type of amaretto you use will be completely up to you based on taste. So again, I need one ounce or three milliliters. And of course, last for the alcohol, I need is a little bit of amaretto. And I'm using a Luxardo Amaretto, which is a, uh, an almond liqueur. Now, as I said, I've cut everything in half, so what there should be really is five ounces of alcohol. Is I will put this directly into the uh, description down below with the full-sized makeup for you, just so that you know exactly how, how to do this. Now, this drink will last for a week in the fridge, so if you pre-make it in time for your tailgate for on the weekend on a Saturday with a football game, that's good too. Now, of course, the next thing I need is a little bit of orange juice. And I need two ounces of that. So, perfect two ounce shot glass here. And of course, the last thing I need for this is some pineapple juice. And what I have here is, of course, pure pressed pineapple juice because I'm doing this all at once. And of course, we need a total of three ounces. And this is a 16 ounce glass, just to show you the sheer size of this drink. We're gonna give this a little bit of a stir. That's good enough. And we need, of course, an orange, and we're going to use this as our garnish. But that's not all. So I'm gonna jam this in here, it looks nice. Okay, good, I'm very happy. We need some maraschino cherries. And of course, depending on the number of cherries you would like, I recommend three because the maraschino cherries are just awesome. They'll give you a little bit of color and you can just throw them in like so. That's a nice looking cocktail, look at that. It's supposed to be super easy to drink. We'll give it a try. Now I can smell a whole bunch of the orange, but of course, with an orange slice directly under my nose, that's no surprise. Mm. I can see why they say this is a sipping drink and 
It's really, really good for games and it's really, really easy. You could drink a whole bunch of these. However, what you're supposed to do when you're done with the drink is say, roll tide. So for you guys at Alabama and for Thumbs Vlog, Roll Tide. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ingredients list and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscription button and the bell notification. That way, every time I make a new video, you will be notified. And please, put your cocktail request down in the description down below, the description, the comments down below. And you know what? If you don't like any of these alcohols or that juice or a drink that size, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time. And I'm not talking about Operation Yellow Hammer, which is the code name used by the UK Treasury for cross-government civil contingency planning in regards to breakfast. I'm not gonna use that piece of ice or that. All right, so let's get into it. Now, 